Welcome to this week's edition of the Non-League Football Show. And it takes us to Walton in Surrey to see this game in the Evo Stick Premier South between Walton Casuals and Beaconsfield Town. For Walton Casuals, Rob Sheridan comes in on loan from Dorking Wanderers to replace the injured Joe Hicks. He's out for the rest of the season with a leg break. For Beaconsfield Town, they've been on mixed form recently, although they're just outside the playoffs. They have five defeats, two draws and three wins in their last ten. It should be a fascinating encounter this evening. And it is the home side that gets us underway here under the lights. Tuesday night football. Plenty for both of these teams still to play for this season. Indeed, the visitors will have very real aspirations of finishing in a playoff place, sitting in sixth position, just outside those places coming into this game tonight. And as for Walton, their first season at this level, and they want to finish in style and maybe an early opportunity now for the home side. Onto the right boot of Uintun, he just places the ball back and maybe a chance to dig the ball over. It was in the end well over but positive start from the home side again it's Walton that just thread these passes together and really neat play over to the far side towards Dan Bennett a couple of step overs for Bennett and it's cleared away only for a corner to Walton what can they make of the first corner of the game and it comes and it's going to be the first goal of the game brilliant header down low into the corner you have to question the marking, but Hustwick gets his head onto the ball. Completely unmarked in the box. There'll be a, an inquest into that goal from the Beaconsfield players and management staff. But you have to say, it was neatly tucked away once he got the space. And Matt Hustwick puts Walton Casuals in front in this one. Again, it's the home side on the attack. In to the box, the ball goes. It bounces over everybody. It's put back in again towards Sheridan. And he nods it wide, making his first appearance tonight on loan from Dorking Wanderers. It's a neat ball into the box, and he had room again. Just couldn't steer the header inside the post. Once more, it's a Walton attack, and it's this time closed down well. Maybe Beaconsfield can get themselves into this game in the first half, and they might go through now, and it's been brought down. Surely there's going to be a yellow card here. It was a cynical foul. And you have to say Marvin Morgan was through then. Maybe no choice for the defender. It was cover, but it will be the first booking of the game for the goal scorer, Hutwick. Neat play from the visitors. They really are starting to compose themselves and get themselves into this game. It's with Hunt. He plays it all the way across, and there was a shot there from Alan Ayenko. Neat little ball in. In fact, it was. Masasso took the shot in the end from the edge of the box. Anthony Gale's side do like to play from the back. And again, once more, it's a patient build-up from those in orange, and they may have an opportunity once more to get down on that far side comes into the box all the way across it was a chance a real chance and he should have done better there Ewington the ball once more chance for the shot and the keeper low on his near post grabs at the second attempt again really far too easy to penetrate the Beaconsfield defence, and this time it was Sarpong with the opportunity on his left foot. Long throw that 
needs to be intercepted. It's not really well dealt with, though, by these Beaconsfield defenders. And maybe an opportunity, right-footed drive, just wide. Really good hit from the edge of the box. Wasn't troubling the keeper, but really good effort there. of action in this first half. Still 1-0 to Walton Casuals. Lovely turn that took out three defenders all the way across and the keeper low to his left-hand side. It was a delightful turn. Three defenders went the other way. As we see once more, it almost fools the cameraman, that shot from Pashaj. to this second half and still the game in the balance. Just the one goal, plenty of opportunities for the home side. They'll probably be ruin a few missed in the first half, but they come forward now. Again, it's a ball crossed into the box. It's going to go over everybody and it will be driven in once more. Well cleared this time by those Beaconsfield defenders and they may bring the ball away over the halfway line and have a tacker of their own. And it's a really good run and it'll be played into the Walton box dinked over it needs to be dealt with and just tipped over the bar by Denzel Girard one end to the other in this game really good drive from Connor Hunt just laid the ball off and I'm not sure if it was a cross or a shot from Lasasso. plenty of tenacity in this game a fair bit of flair as well from both these sides again the ball played in towards Morgan and his shot is well over the bar did really well just to hold off the Wharton defenders there Morgan using his strength created an opportunity and should have really done better certainly more chances for the visitors in this second half but again it's Wharton that come forward that's a lovely piece of skill into the box really good save from the keeper Constable hasn't been called on too much in this game, but he was there. Delightful piece of skill that just took him away from the defender, and it was all about the keeper then. Could he keep that out? He could have maybe squared that ball, went for goal. It was just at the right height for the keeper, and he knows. Again, it's Marvin Morgan that wins the ball and a real chance now. Through they go, Rob Sheridan brings the player down and it was Brendan Matthew that had gone through and this is going to be a yellow card and no doubt whatsoever that it's a penalty. Really late in on the substitute there, Sheridan. No complaints and it is an opportunity for Beaconsfield to draw themselves level. It will be Lasasso from the spot. Masasso steps up, and it's one apiece. Calm penalty into the corner. And probably, to this point in the game, a fair reflection. They've been much better, Beaconsfield, once they got the first 20 minutes out of the way. And Masasso, who's had a couple of chances in the game, draws his team level. 1-1. There are twists late on in this Evo Stick Premier South game. Walton hopes so, and it's a really good save again from Constable. Better than the first one. Just reached up high to tip that over the bar. I'm not sure he was expecting the shot there. I'm not even sure that it was from Harry Mills. Certainly looked to get the ball into a dangerous area. Maybe going for the cross. And in the end, the keeper did really well to tip that away. Still, the home side come forward looking for the three points. They're in the lead for much of the game. It's with Harry Mills again. With that final opportunity a few minutes ago. Mills onto his right foot. This time low across. Another opportunity and it's saved. Sarpong this time on his left foot in the box. 
time almost up in this game. It looks like the points will be shared. Oh, that's a dreadful ball from the keeper. And maybe one last opportunity for Walton into the box. And it was a last minute challenge from Vassell. Did really well there to get back after a woeful ball from the keeper and keep the scores level. I'm not sure what Constable's complaining about there. It was his mistake and it ends one apiece. It was a matchup between two promotion hopefuls on Saturday in the Bostic Premier Division. Merstam's recent fine form sees them chasing down a playoff spot. And Enfield will still have aspirations of taking the automatic promotion spot in this division. But they'll have to do much better than they did on the road on Saturday. It was Walter Figueroa steering home. The only goal of the game to take all three points for the Moatsiders. Another battle in the Bostic Premier Division between two promotion hopefuls. Saw Worthing take on Dorking Wanderers and it was the visitors who took the early lead. A mix-up in the Worthing backline allowed Giuseppe Sol to hit home on the ninth minute. Worthing got themselves back into the game on the 25th minute. It was Callum Keeley who headed home to bring the home side level. But Wanderers soon got back into their strides and back into the lead. The referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot after this challenge. And it was down to Lewis Taylor to see the visitors back in front. Wanderers then took full control, a fine ball crossfield. Found Noel McManus and he composed himself to hit low beyond the keeper to make it 3-1 to Wanderers. The win was sealed by a fine solo goal from Reese Hall. A great effort on his right foot, meaning all three points back to Surrey. It was another high scoring game on Saturday between Tunbridge Angels and Kingstonian. And it was the home side who raced into an early lead. Alex Reed tucking home in the 10th minute. Tunbridge doubled their lead thanks to Joe Turner. This fine low effort finding the corner. And it was all smiles in the Tunbridge camp. But Kingstonian have shown real resilience of late to surge up the table. And they hit back, thanks to this header from Dean Ingman. And just a minute later, before half-time, the visitors were level. A long kick downfield and an early cross. And it was Sean McCauley with a fantastic drive. But I'm sure changed both half-time team talks. But Tunbridge aren't bad at home either, and they steered home to collect all three points thanks to Chudu McKenzie's effort on 71 minutes. Can they make it count? In comes the ball. It's, oh, it's going to gather. He does it gather. It's going to fall to Joe Gatton. No offside, and it is Deerham Town who take the lead. A simple finish in the end. They've been pressing. I think Haig is going to be extremely disappointed when he sees this back. Just couldn't hold on to the ball. There's a mix up there as well with Wilson and Gatton there to tuck the ball home. Plenty of opportunities now in this game. Goes all the way over towards Krasnicki on his right foot. Drives the ball across and it's in. And it is the equaliser. It's been coming. You have to say, so much pressure on this Deerham Town defence. Really well worked across the pitch. And Krasnicki low across the keeper. And much like the Deerham Town goal in the first half, Elliot Pride will be disappointed he didn't keep that one out. Still the Deerham defence 
standing firm. Miller plays the ball back out again towards Ronto. And it comes to the box once more, and again it's cleared away, but only as far as Walker. He did again towards Price, and it's 2-1 to Swiss. The goal's there, and they are in front. Great delivery, and a superb header from Price. He had a sighter in the first half, and he's found the net in the second. It was Ronto's delivery. Price met the ball, no chance for the keeper. And Haybridge Swifts have the lead. Comes the free kick towards Wilson with the head, and it is the third goal for Swifts. Luke Wilson clinches all three points this afternoon. Thoroughly deserved. And it was a towering header again, right into the corner, the opposite corner that Price put it in some 10 minutes ago. No chance again for the keeper. Delightful finish from the Haybridge centre-back. And that does wrap up all three points for Swifts. That's it for this week's non-league football show, but we return next Thursday with an all-new non-league football lineup. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.